Hi guys, this is Carsten VK6 PCB Victor Kilo 6 Papa Charlie Bravo. Currently in the city of Hamburg, Germany. Um, I'm on a holiday at the moment, and um, I noticed a lot of people posting about having trouble with connecting to their uh, Pi Star uh, via their web browser. And so hopefully this uh, video will sort of explain a couple of things and uh, because it seems to be the first stumbling block for people who use the Pi Star. Right, so let's assume it's a fresh install, you haven't configured it at all yet. Um, so when you do load it up, um, it will try to search for a uh, Wi-Fi access point. Obviously if you haven't set it up, it won't know where to go to. So if you go to pistar.local, it won't find anything um, because it's not connect. It doesn't know which Wi-Fi network it needs to connect to. So what you do, you it will go into an access point mode, which means if you go to your wireless, you will see, hopefully. An access point here. Let me try that again. It should. Ah, there we go. It should come up as Pi Dash Star. Um, I've just called my Pi Pi Star Zero because I've got so many of them. Um, so it will come up as that. So you've got to connect to that um, that access point. Um, if it asks you for a password, I think the default password is Raspberry or in lowercase, but I'm not sure. It might be blank, I, I can't quite remember now. So that's the first step. So it's connecting now. Okay, so that's connected now. Your lap, your, I'm using my laptop. My laptop is now connected to the access point or the access point on the Pi Star. So now there's only two devices on that, which is the Pi Star in mine. So if you go to start and sorry if you go Windows R for run and type CMD which is command and then you type the command IP config that will show you what your IP address is at the moment and also what the default gateway is now in this case because you're connecting to the Pi Star that is the default gateway so this is the Pi Star's IP address so if you connect to that you'll be able to set it up. So let's go to 192.168.50.1 and that will show your Pi Star config. Now I've already set mine up so it's all done. While you're in here you have to go to your config Oops. and set up your Wi-Fi access point which is so this is all your setup I won't go through this because there's other videos but this is the section here you need to tell the Pi Star which Wi-Fi hotspot you want it to access when it boots up right so once you've booted up um, that's the first step to get to it um, to access it the first time for setup Okay, we're back. So you've set up your IP, you've set up your Pi Star to connect to your local wireless network. Um, now your laptop or the computer that you're using it must be on that same access point. Now in this situation, um, I'm connected to my Note 9, my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Um, just because that's how I've set up my Raspberry Pi. So let's just assume you're, you've told your Pi Star to connect to your whatever Wi-Fi hotspot and your laptop is on that same one. Now, to find out the IP address, um, you can try pistar.local. It may or may not work. If it works, then fine, that's it. But if it doesn't, then you need to find out the IP address of your Pi Star. So to find the IP address of your Pi Star, you need a program such as Angry IP Scanner. <coughs> so you download that. I've already downloaded it, but I'm going to download it again. OK. 
can't remember where it was I downloaded it. That's fine. So you download that, you install it. And make sure you run it at the same time. So the first time you run it, if you're on the same network as your Pi Star, so on the same wireless access point, it will automatically detect the IP range that you're on. So in this case, I'm on this IP address range 192.168.43. And I can verify that by doing Windows R for run command and typing IP config again. Now, down here we're looking, so that's my IP address, so I'm in that range. Um, now the default gateway will be your router. So already you know two IP addresses of two devices that um, are on that network. If you've got more devices on your network, it may take a bit more to sort of work out which is which. But what you do, you run a scan, on that IP address range and it will find every device in that range. So there we go, so it's found four devices uh, for some reason, I can't remember why but that's alright. So your first one is your internet router in this case it's my mobile phone we can ignore that one then we've got this one which has a name pi star zero that's a promising one um, but it may not be that one on your network so you just have to eliminate all the other devices so we've got this one here this is my msi laptop so it's not that one and there is a f well there was i thought there was a fourth one but uh one two Okay, so there's not. So we know the IP address of the Pi Star is right there now, 192.168.43.76. Um, so if we type that in to a web browser, 192.168.43.76, there you go. That's how simple it is. That's how you set up your IP address, your, your Wi-Fi access point for your Raspberry Pi, and how to find the IP address. Now that IP address could change, so you might have to do that again, but if you've set it up properly and if your internet router uh, is set up properly, you should just have to type in pi-star.local. Anyway, I hope that helps, and hopefully that will uh, help a lot of you over this first stumbling block, because it's um, it's one that catches a lot of people out there. All right, all the best. Auf Wiedersehen, guten Tag, and 73 from VK6PCB, Victor Kilo 6, Papa Charlie Bravo from Hamburg, Germany.